everyone. This is William May with Century 21. A lot of people have been asking me about the uh, Mojo contest and been asking me a few questions about some other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to uh, sign up for the contest. Hey, hold up. Wait a minute. Before you do anything else, make sure you subscribe right now. That way, I know that you like what I'm putting out here. And if you have any questions, you can always contact me. So make sure you subscribe. So that way we can put out more content so you can get what you want when you want it. Thank you. And also answer some uh, basic questions I get from uh, different people across the country about how I prospect. So, all right. So we're on the screen. Hey, look at that handsome devil. Let me move him over. <clears throat> Excuse me. Move myself over. Now, this is the Mojo contest page. All right. So you click right here and then you get to see the results. Hey, look who's at, on top. And move me over here. All right, so Daniel, these are all the people that that um that did their little session and it's upgraded. So every time you do a session, usually the small numbers usually lets me know that they're calling their expireds first. So that's usually what I do is I call my expireds, my old expireds, and then I go into my my cold calling. Then later on in the afternoon, I'll call through my old expires again and then cold call some more and then in the evening if I'm still prospecting for new business I'll go through my expires one more time because a lot of times they get a lot of calls and not answering their phones but if you do it different times a day they'll see you and also I have different numbers so that way they'd be like this fool again calling me so um but hey I want to give a shout out to Carlos one thing about Carlos, he did over 35,000 dials in the in the month of December. Last year, I only did 32,000 dials. And thanks to Miss um, uh, Laverne Ford, Miss Ford, thank you. Because she got me, we was talking last month. I told her I need to step up my game. She gave me some great advice. She did over 200,000, 200 dials last year. James Festini, he only did uh, over 100,000 dials and some change. And he was kind of upset he only did 38 transactions, 39 transactions. But in my opinion, when there's a low inventory, the turnover rate low. So you have to jump up those dials. I know two years ago, I only called like, I think it was like 18,000, but it had like um, 12 transactions, eight of them closed. But um, when the market starts moving, you don't have to make as many calls. When the market is on a low turnover, you have to make a lot more calls. So dialing with a handheld phone is not going to work. You have to use them. A dialer that's why I suggest mojo and thanks miss Ford for all your your help um, so this is the contest page so if you sign up for the contest you are on the top 10 at the end of the month you get your prize for being in the top 10 you get a free month of mojo all right so go over here this is how you get set up by the way for uh, mojo uh, you go to settings, and then first off, you go to social post. Now, this confused me at first. Ooh, close that. This confused me at first because authorization um, is you need to authorize it. So you click on that. You know, you input your your information for Facebook or Twitter. Right now, when I post, hey, that's my lovely wife. You know, you just see my information. But right here on Twitter, since I have that highlighted, you see anytime I do a session, it's going to post my results. Hey, shout out for James Festini, my boy Colton Lindsay. 
yeah, if you do a search on life uh, for self by only reading scripts, this is where I first talked to Colton. And this is when he mentions my name and he does the script. Uh, shout out to Derek. These are the two top role players. And Colton's, he's the man with for self by owners. Derek's the man with, with expireds. Um, hey, my, J my man, Jason Morris. And you see more of my posts on social media through my dialings with, with Mojo. So you go back over here, you make sure one of these are selected, which, which, um, social media source you want to post to. So I have mine as authorization is Twitter. So you see deauthorization. That means when it's highlighted deauthorization, you click it and then you'll see authorization. That means it's turned off. So that confused me a little simple minded, but hey. Uh, also, you want to make sure you have check auto post social media. So that way, if you forget, it'll pop up. You might be in a rush. You don't click it. You don't get it doesn't post and then you don't get any credit. If something happens where you have a drop call or your internet cuts off, when you have auto post on social networks, it might take a minute, but it's gonna post your your uh, results. So that way you'll always get credit. Let me refresh the screen. See somebody already finished three calls. So it always keeps updating. All right, so let's go back up here. Now you go to contest. Take that off. Now you, you know, they're real. You know, read the rules, read all the stuff. But this is all you have to do. Click right here. Boom. In a minute, I should get a email stating that, hey, congratulations, you're signed up for the Mojo contest. This is all you do. You're happy go lucky. So let me go up here. There we go. Yep, thank you for participating. So now you're logged in. You don't have to wait. Now, the one thing that helps me remember to log in for the contest is when they send you an email reminding you, hey, we're going to deduct $150 from your account in five days. So make sure you have the money because 90% of realtors are broke. 10% of the realtors makes 90% of the transactions. So that's why I guess they have that, that, um, that email but as soon as I get that email before I forget I go into settings I go into contest I click on my button and then I'm good to go go back to home now another question I have is how do I make my calls how is my 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 groups and calls set up I'm not the best person with database so let me move me over here but this is uh, I talked to another agent. I'm sorry, I forgot his name, but he helped me align my call list in a nice, orderly fashion. So what I do is, like for, and as you can see, I got a few numbers, 200, 227,151, you know, numbers. So, you know how that go. All right, so let's say 9, zero zero four seven LA you know my neck of the woods down the street from my house how many numbers do I have boom I have nine thousand four hundred and fifty numbers so um that's just in that zip code so if somebody's listening to property I'm doing circle prospecting I'll call in that area you know if you if you go and see, and if I um, I'll call, it will show where I left off. Right now, I'm calling through there. Let's see where I'm at. I only got uh, 2,183 numbers to go through that calling list. Move this down. So, you know, uh, hey, um, Ladera Heights. Love Ladera Heights. Not that many numbers. Only 2,000. So this is how I organize my numbers. This is my office area, <clears throat> 2,685. So if your numbers are all everywhere, just do a search and put all the numbers in that city. Just make a, 
a calling list of, you know, Pico Rivera, California, nine, whatever that that area is, and then put all the numbers in that area. So that way is more more able where you can go through uh, the numbers. So when you're ready to call through a certain area, you just click on it and say, hey, you know, I'm going to go through them and stuff. Now, just to let you know, um, I reset my numbers. So it might not look I went through them and stuff. And then if there's an old expired or something like that, I'll just put them back into the mix and just call through them if, if it's too old. So hopefully that answers, you know, a lot of people's questions to groups. I just make my groups as I see fit. I don't know. There's no really system to it, but I do really have a system for, um, for the call list because it can get messy real quick. So hopefully I answered all your questions. Um, oh, also too, I just want to give thanks to Lucky. Now he's, he's a man. He's a, a killer on on cold calling uh this is when he started this it was 12 26 09 this is over eight years ago people and this forum is just taken off so uh you can go to agentsonline.net and they have a lot more topics you can talk about um like reo um, bpo i learned a lot of stuff from bpo when i did it for a minute and uh, Lucky talks about, you know, how he's making cold calls and how he went up his game. Now, 2017, you got Daniel, Ronnie, um, Miss Laverne. You got a lot of people that's participating. And, you know, it's like 35 listings, 40 deals, uh, 700. Congratulations, Daniel. You know, it encourages you to keep on dialing. Because let's go over to, oh, this is another question I had. Since I'm dialing so much, how many transactions am I receiving? Now, this is uh, today. I didn't get on my um, thing today. But yesterday, I was on there. I didn't I didn't hit my goal of 1,000. Something came up. But I was, I was close. Uh, but let's see from the first of the year until today now I only got like maybe one solid lead that he's definitely selling but he says he have um, a couple of realtors that that he know that he's going to interview so he said I can interview for the job but it's not really high as a they don't know a realtor so but I'm still following up with him, getting my, my information, all that good stuff. So it's loading. And a couple maybe, yeah, we'll might be selling uh, later on this year or next year. Now, if they say next year, but they say, hey, next year in June, when my son or daughter graduate from high school, um, we'll be selling our house and we'll be downsizing. Hey, that's a solid lead because they actually know what they're going to be doing. It's taking a minute, probably because I'm recording. So I hope this is some value. Also, too, if you don't have Mojo, get Mojo. Uh, let them know I referred you so I can get me a little credit. But it's like $150 a month um, for the um, for the dialer. And it's all well worth it. Also, too, if you strap, just downgrade to the ten dollar license that way it keeps your data so you won't lose your data now as of right now it shows i made 20 uh total calls made twenty six thousand two hundred and sixty six um percentage of people i contacted to do not call this um two um excuse me here's all my stats um and times that i dialed so for being on the phone for over 26,000 dials, uh, I only got one solid lead. That's because the turnover rate is so low. I'm calling different areas, 
but you just got to another thing I want to just add right quick uh, to be clear. Uh, one thing I think is a major component to prospecting is knowing the turnover rate. Like you see Colton Lindsay, Jason Morris, um, a few other people across across the country, they having a lot of transactions, 50, 60, 100 transactions. But you have to understand their price point, most of the markets are lower than Southern California. Mine's average price point is probably now around about 425, 450. And the turnover rate is much lower. So like say, uh, for example, turnover rate. Say if I'm calling Inglewood and that zip code is 90305. Let's say in my, my farm area or that area that I'm calling only, only there's a, let's say to make math easy, there's only a thousand homes. In a, that year's time, only 10 homes in that thousand cell, that's a 10% turnover rate that's what I'm saying so right now in our MLS we only got like 800 900 active listings right now and a normal market in Southern California where I'm at is usually 3,000 4,000 you know and then you see you hear people say well the number of homes on the market if no more homes get added to the market we have a three month four month supply so that's basically the same concept of turnover so that's what i'm i'm getting at as far as uh the turnover rate but if you're not in the game if you're not making your calls it's like the lottery you don't win if you don't play so that's one thing my broker always told me your lottery ticket is your your license your real estate license so you need to make calls you need to be touching people so that way you're able to be in a position to help them with their goals and with their dreams but you just got to be consistent and persistent you got to do what you don't want to do at the high level to succeed in real estate like my boy uh, Neil Swartz says 90% of what's wrong in your life can be cured with massive amounts of prospecting so that's what I'm doing i'm trying to encourage you to do massive amounts of prospecting so you can help yourself and your family so as always if you like what you see leave a comment below and let everyone know that william may is your realtor pro god bless